Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Master Nightfall, which is Birthplace of the Vile. Now, I decided to do a Master because not everybody can get into the Grand Master and the Hung Jury is available this week. So this is a kind of a quick and easy, maybe not easy, just a quick way to maybe get some clears on this. If you're a solo player, if you're a team player, you'll maybe do this five minutes faster, something like that, than I've done it. So all the fragments and aspects I'm using are in the video. We'll talk about some of them as we're going through. I'm using Ostringer for Unstoppable, Limonok for uh, Overload, and I'm using the Taipan just for damage. Uh, I've got Lord Kelvin's Basilisk on, so Void Grenades become Overload Grenades. Uh, Unstoppable Hand Cannon, as I've said. We've got Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger, High Energy Fire, and... Count a charge on, so every time we stun a champion, we get charged to light and do 20% more damage. I've got ashes to assets on my helm, and that basically grenade kills will give me uh, more, give me large amounts of super energy. But one of the biggest changes is a fragment that I'm using. I've never used it before, which is echo of instability. So grenade kills give my void weapons volatile rounds, and you'll see it in play because. The void explosions once you get a grenade kill are, yeah, they're, they're quite gratuitous. They're quite big and there's a lot of them. So you'll see here once we start, you see the double explosion, sometimes the triple explosion I'm getting on this overload. It's because I've got a ton of grenade kills and, so I'm using Contraverse, uh, I just get some, some volatile damage in there, throw my grenade just to finish that off, keep the keep the volatile rounds going. You see how fast we take out those overloads using volatile with Limonok and the grenade? It's crazy. I've also got, I think it's on my legs, I've got Well of Tenacity, so when I throw my grenade because on my helmet I've got, my helmet? Where have I got? Got it somewhere <laughs> where I throw grenades Oh no, it's not, I haven't got the grenade, that's what I was looking for, it's not the grenade, it's uh, on my on my uh, helmet I've got elemental light, so uh, an elemental armament, I think it's elemental armaments. so basically weapon kills can give me uh, uh, elemental wells, I think I've got elemental light on which is super kills can produce elemental wells, I pick one of them up with well of tenacity and I get a damage resist for five seconds or so so this is really the first real kind of right this is what you do here the rest is just kill things and keep yourself kind of safe this is kind of the same but what what i found doing this was uh obviously they spawn both sides and you see because that because that uh that kind of threw me off with that screed kind of coming out and then walking sideways until he actually you know decided that he shouldn't have been walking sideways while he's facing forward. We'll see what I'm doing here. I'm using my grenade to get kills to give me my my uh, my devour. So any kills afterwards for 10, you get it for 10 seconds. Any kills afterwards gives me back full health. And then I'm just coming off the plate, going back on the plate because the plate stores your progress. So if you've been on the plate and maybe you've charged it to 20% coming off the plate you, when you go back on you start from 20% it doesn't reset your plate uh, experience or your plate progress so I'm constantly just jumping around the main plate so I can keep going on just making sure I keep my devour going up and if I, if I feel like I'm getting pushed I've always got my grenade and as you can see there you go just from moving about and making sure that I'm difficult target to hit but whilst making sure I get back on the plate uh, periodically, we don't have to kill all the ads. That's the point of doing that. If you get off the plate, uh, if you get off the plate and go to the back and just kill all the ads, then you'll have to wait until all the ads come out. So that is that done. Now we're gonna th this next section over over to our right. You've got an overload and an unstoppable. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, we kill these uh, raiders first because they've got void weapons and, well, we are taking 50% extra void damage. So exactly the same way as we've done it on Grandmaster. Clear them and then again, I'm going to kind of Kobe a grenade, try and get it to skirt the ceiling 
so it goes all the way to the back and then we'll wait for this unstoppable to come close because if you if you just stun him where you first see him kind of once you stun an unstoppable they kind of hunch down you might not be able to hit him because he might the angle might prevent you from seeing his head so now i'll just stop the overload i'll put a grenade on him and uh you see their controverse props a couple of times so i've got quite high discipline i think i've got 90 discipline thing about controverse is you thought you get a percentage of your grenade straight back i've noticed you can get a bit more if you get kills but if you put it on a champion uh the 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 exotic perk on controverse will proc twice and it will give you another chunk of your grenade back even though you haven't killed anything so that's why i always run controverse because the vortex grenade for me and just it's ambient uh res you know resourcefulness and it's uh, ambient usage you know is the best grenade in the game some people might say the fusion is and um, for focus damage against a boss i can't argue with that but the vortex for it what it does giving us devour and dragging enemies towards and the fact it can weaken bosses and weaken enemies i i, I would always go with this so what what you might have noticed there normally in here what we've normally got is that that uh, overload is normally just to our left up the stairs but because we're doing this on master and the, the enemies went down a bit faster uh i actually got inside the door before he got up there because he doesn't spawn up top he spawns from where we've seen him coming from there so i'm just picking off you want to make sure you take those ravagers there'll be three of them they freeze you with their their hits there we go that's the last one of them now we're looking for the last champion just the last not champion sorry the last uh, uh chieftain now as you can see there even though i don't have solar you get two chieftains here we already took the void one out with the burn uh i think but uh you can't predict what shield you'll come up against there it could be arc it could be void it could be solar there, there'll be two at random so you can't really set your character up to deal with those champions because you don't know what shields you're going to have it's the only additional shields in the game and you might get you know I've, I've come in here and had two void i've had two arc i've had two solar you know you can't predict it's random so you you basically save your super for those two chieftains another kind of thing is uh when you when you uh come into this area you had four raiders at the first junction and a bunch of screams and then once we kill all them you would have seen i took out two more raiders that were over here once you take those raiders out you are going to get there's four at both sides there will be two that are kind of hidden back they don't normally come out until you come forward and because because the void they do a lot of damage so what i like to do is once i've taken out the first area's worth of enemies and the uh, i take out the two two raiders that are there that you can see i come over to you see me jump on the first and i'll jump on the second platform on the right that is when the, the next two raiders will come if you're not confident enough to stand there and kill them just charge a grenade and put it up there like i did uh and then jump if you're not confident enough to stay there just jump back you know they'll stay there once you've activated them this is probably the toughest part of this not this part right here but capture the two plates especially on the warlock because you are just gonna have to fight everything there's no getting away away from it so before that though you've got these two unstoppables now you see me charge a grenade and uh i use i use the grenade to take down most of the enemies which give me volatile which works with our taipan make sure before you go to the first plate make sure you've got your grenade you want your grenade and you want your rift right so when when you go to the first plate you can it doesn't matter which one you do first you're gonna have two spawns of ads come in you might have to get off the plate so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna throw my grenade onto the set of ads i can't see 
and let the grenade do the damage. See how I got those volatile? So now I've got another grenade. I'll throw that up there. I'm looking for the next set of spawns. Boss has come in. I'll break his shield. There we go. One hit. One hit break. I've got a grenade, but I don't need it. And that should be us just about captured this this plate. I am going to kill the last couple of ads here because if you don't sometimes, it doesn't happen very often, but it can, that they will creep up after you. Especially if they see you going up there. The screams are the worst. They'll just keep running. And there we go. And as you can see, attrition is, is the static modifier. Which basically means no matter... There's three rotating modifiers. I can't actually remember what this modifier is. But there's three rotating modifiers and a static modifier on all the masses. And the static one is uh, attrition. So basically, you get restorative light when you when you run over it. It basically gives you... You don't heal properly without it. But when you get it, it heals you constantly for a number of seconds. I'll put my rift down. I'm now waiting on the big boss coming in. And what we're going to do is just throw over super. I've got my grenade now, but I, I'm kind of like, do I need to use it? Maybe. Right, so we'll just throw that there, and that should, that should, that should, that should see us through now. That's us captured the plate. That is this section done. When you get that new objective, that is this section done. And there we go. So make sure you pick up any ammo that you need before you move forward. And uh, in the words of Fabrizio Romano, here we go. This next section we're going to have a unstoppable and a bunch of ads. So we're just going to charge our grenade up. A la charge. That'll take out a bunch of ads. We'll stop the unstoppable. And there we go. That is this section done. So the way you kind of break this strike up is you've got these two uh, clear the corruptions. Two portals. So there's a couple of encounters before the first portal. A couple of encounters before the, uh, before the second portal. And after the second portal you've got two kind of areas. Same as the others. Two areas. And then you're at the boss. These corrupted uh, Ravagers, there's four of them as well here. You've got to keep an eye on them because <clears throat> even if two of them come at you, there, there, there should actually be four in this area. They will come all the way from the other side like that to get behind you. Now, I think the other one comes this direction from up here. Because, there we go, because they obviously are Ravagers, but as you can see, they've got... Uh, They've got a... Uh, forgot the name of it. Stasis. <laughs> because they've got stasis lanterns. When they do their little slam, it sends out a freezing... A seeker. A stasis seeker. And you don't really want to have to deal with that. Especially if you're jumping. Because they will freeze you mid-jump. So, once you've come out of the portal, this is the first section. You've got two overloads here. And we're going to try and take them from here. No problem at all. I don't really want to use too much heavy because we want to keep us much heavy. We want to acquire more heavy than anything else here. Uh, there's the first one. So we're just going to push in here. We've got a couple of restorative lights in front of us. So we can. Oh, they've just disappeared. But you can, when you see them, you can be a little bit more aggressive because you've got that healing factor. We'll just take this guy out. We've got a brick of heavy in front of us. We've still got a whole bunch of other enemies. No point in using heavy here. And there we go. Get that restorative light. And now what we're going to do is we're going to... This is the last area before the boss. We're just going to charge a big grenade. Throw it down. And the adds, regardless of the grenades there or not, as you can see there, they will run through the grenade. Now, I always like to take this boss out pretty quickly because he can be quite annoying so we'll just put a couple of linear fusion shots that's him gone you will get we already had a chieftain come up but you get two and same as the boss we just killed there's two of those one will run up the ramp towards you and one stays down by the rest of those uh, uh, lurkers down at the bottom you've also got two unstoppables again I don't really want to use too much heavy. This guy here is the most annoying out of these bosses because his attack is really ranged. As long as you keep moving back. 
And there we go. That should this should just about kill him now. Now we can push forward, but we, it's probably not worthwhile pushing all the way down because you've still got these these uh, scorn unstoppables. They have quite a good range on their attacks. See there now. I'm going to try and do a bit on this champion. There we go. Now we've only got one champion to th to to really contest. We've got a brick of heavy there, it's always nice to see. We'll just cancel that grenade. If you ever charge a grenade and you want to cancel it, you can you can change weapon, that will, that will auto cancel it. There we go, we'll just put a couple of shots on them. We don't need to put the third. Finish, we'll pick up this brick, and then we're heading to the boss. Now the way we're going to do the boss, we don't have a ton of heavy, but we'll probably get some at the boss. Now, this run took 22 minutes. So we're going to spend seven minutes at the boss. What we're going to do is we're going to plant our sweet backside behind the pillar on the left hand side of us over here. The ads will all kind of push us. The boss will push us, but we can control it from up here a lot better. Put down your, make sure you're putting your rifts down. So I'm just going to throw this, this, see how it shared the damage almost put the boss at half health so what we're looking to do still to keep our eye on the spawns but what we're looking to do we'll just throw that there and now we've got to try and break that lantern so our grenade gets get some work in what we're looking to do is stay out the way of the fire firing line of the the, the boss while still controlling the ads that are spawning in there's another spawn over back over at the back, so we'll charge my grenade and we'll throw it over there. And that, again, because we've got the fragment on, by doing that, we're giving our grenades our our lemon arc. We're giving our lemon arc uh, volatile rounds, which is more damage again. There's obviously you'll have the champion here, so what we've done, we can move the boss. You can move them, whatever side you look out from, whatever side you look out from, the boss will go the other way. So now I'm just moving away, and then I'm going to move back. You can do that. If you're getting kills, just take out this lantern. If you're getting kills and you're getting that restorative light, really is going to help you. Put another rift down, here comes a nad. No problem at all. Just be aware of where the ads are coming from, and you can... You can take care of them pretty easily. But this is this is your spot. So the boss is there. So now we're gonna try and deal with this this uh, overload. Very easy. Another wave of ads coming. And now I'll throw the grenade and that will damage the ads and the boss. Be aware that there's no ads coming from behind you. And again, be aware of the void. Avoid uh, fire. Now you see, I pushed up because I knew I had uh, the resist there, but it was I also had uh, the health. I also had restorative light. So what I'm doing is I'm splitting my time between looking to see where the ads are and dealing damage to the boss. Now you're not really wanting to fight all the waves of ads. The faster you can get the damage on the boss. It is entirely up to you, but you want to do it safely. That's why I, I'm really focusing on making sure that uh, I'm, I'm controlling the flow of ads. And then this is the first, so this is the first teleport. So it took us back to the place we came in through the, the first portal. We do it exactly the same. We had, we take out that first wave, which is just behind where we are now. And then there'll be two 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 uh, raiders and then two more will come and we throw a grenade on there and as you see if you do it right you don't have to move away from here and then you've got a bunch of bunch of screeps that you'll have to kill now again if you feel like they're pushing you and they're being too aggressive then you can always jump backwards onto one of the the, the, the pillars behind you as long as you're aware and you, you know, the, another thing I haven't spoke about yet is this is the only GM Nightfall whatever 
that, that still gives you your mini map which really really helps as long as you ADS you can check to see what's in the vicinity once we kill this overload then we're going to go back into the room we won't have an overload champion in the room this time we're going to have an unstoppable and we're going to try and deal with him and the other red bar ogre pretty quickly so when I come in I look to see where the spawns are and I just throw my grenade on one of the spawns it doesn't matter which one it is now I'm going to stop the unstoppable and take care of him and the other ogre so there you go both the ogres are down take out this we've got the wraiths up because of lemon arc no problem you see one next bomb we've already preempted that so we throw a grenade over there I'll just get rid of that and we try and make sure that none of the ads get a chance to just run now I've got my super boss is almost he's at full health for this so we'll put that on here's another spawn I've got my grenade because of controversy the great thing is, we threw the grenade and the boss just stood there and decided to get involved in the damage sharing. Now I'm just going to try and get rid of the boss now. Get us to one next spawn. There we go. That's how quickly that goes. The boss will come over to that right hand side, but he won't come behind you. The ads might. The ads might go to the bottom of the stairs. One or two of them, but the rest of them will come head on. Controverse, high enough discipline, make sure that you're hitting your grenades and you'll never be without a grenade so this works the exact same way uh, we're, we're looking out for those uh, ravagers trying to preempt them get them to come but you know you never know what side they're gonna come from they're gonna come from behind or they're gonna come from in front and then if they're not coming and you've cleared everything just go just go towards the the overload now you can see they both came from the front and that's all the ravagers gone be careful with this champion because he's got a really hard hit and void attack so i never took any chances stopped him and then killed him with the with the linear so now when we go in here we are going to have an, a, a, another uh, overload so back to the same place look for your spawns a grenade on the spawn and then i'm just going to nova which, as you can see, took out the overload. And even though the boss uh, had... Just look for the next spawn. There's another spawn coming in the mid. Even though the boss had put one of his little lanterns up to protect him and his minions, it doesn't protect them from super damage. So now I'm just putting it on them. Now I think... Could be in for another spawn. And now I don't have a grenade. So what I'm going to have to do... Share the love with Lemon Arc. And as you can see, it's no big deal. You know, we've got a we've got a grenade now should we need it. I didn't feel like I would. I wouldn't need it to, to control these ads, so what I done was exactly what I've done in other other occasions. I put it down so that it was affecting the boss. Now I've got another grenade for this wave, just throw it up there. we've got there we go and now we should just be able to kill the the boss so basically we're controlling this area with uh with grenades if we're in that position we're pretty safe as you can see there it's a platinum run 22 minutes no problem at all thanks a lot for watching guys i hope this helps you maybe get some runs done maybe if you know if you're not confident you can get into the gm maybe this will help you get at least get yourself a hung jury because it's a very very good scout rifle thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.